need to get in your dinghy and come out and circus. This is living. Oh, into the room, create the time that takes me out, breaks me down again. Welcome to Finding Avalon. We've been hanging around Fiji for a few days now. Some things have been going our way, and others haven't. But on balance, this place is a real treasure in the South Pacific, and we're looking forward to exploring more exquisite anchorages. Today, we're anchored at Manterey Reef, a little slice of paradise in the Yasawa archipelago. It's very rolly in this anchorage this morning. How did you go last night? I slept good in my back. I know. So I sleep like a log and he's quite a light sleeper. So whenever this happens, I always wake up alone and get really confused. But yeah, I woke up alone at... It must have been really bad actually because I did actually wake up at like 1am and it was really, really, really noisy and rocky in our front cabin. That's what happens when it's a rolly anchorage. So he goes and sleeps in the aft cabin, which is cozy and serene and gorgeous. And um, yeah, I just couldn't push through it this time. I woke up about five times in the night and then at about 3 a.m. And woke me up. I sorry. <laughs> it's really hard not to wake someone up when you're crawling into that little hole of a oh, bed. Are you trying not to? Yeah, I was trying really hard. <laughs> So um, yeah, we, we thought we were being really cool by anchoring on this side of the pass when all the other boats are over there, but actually it's not cool. So <laughs> we're going to move through the pass and it looks a bit calmer over there. And today... Mummy! Mummy! We've got some very VIP guests. Yeah. on the beach that is rock star <laughs> let's go let's go see him aware that there was a volcanic eruption under the sea recently. Well, Elaine had been freaking out as it wasn't too far away from us and running into the pumice raft out to sea could have been troublesome. 
going through the raft. The old pumice raft. We've been tracking its location in Temple. Here it is, look at it. Oh my god. We'll put our experienced captain up to the task of dodging the raft. After a short sail, we arrived in the village of So So. Keen to check out what Virginian island life is like and buy some local handicrafts. We just arrived at So So Village, which is not too far away from Mantaray Reef. And just as we were pulling in the dinghy, this man called Bill with his three kids had, he was just coming back from the mainland because his wife is in labor in hospital. And apparently she's doing really well. And uh, Bill just went to drop his stuff back off at his house and he's gonna show us around the village. And um, he's letting all the ladies of the village know that we're here so they can show us their craft. Introducing the Soso -so village boat. When the locals schedule a group trip into the city, they all muscle together to push her into the sea. Yes, I am scared as you are. Bill introduced us to his mum and all the other ladies in the village who'd laid on a private little market for us. Bula! Bula! You have them for your new baby. Whoa! Thank you very much. <laughs> Bill gave us a few treasures from his garden and shared with us a recipe for a papaya scone. Take all the, the take with the splash. Yeah. Put in the flour. Yeah. Mix it with the water. With a bit of water, and then in the oven. All right. Whoa. We oh. shall be doing that. With the yellow scone. Yellow, Yellow scone. scone. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got jam. <laughs> now we just need to. Oh, thank you so much. That's great. Keep your eye on the island. Your eyes are there. Oh, wrong island. Wrong island. I really like you to do it now. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to sit down now. <laughs> you know the phrase. It's not my favourite thing. <laughs> you want to go again? Oh, okay. I was just going to tell you a secret. So.
so it's actually Jackson's mom's birthday next week and um, obviously we're not going to be there with her so we're going to do like a fake birthday today so I've distracted them with tea and chocolate they're up there I'm going to be down here making sushi and um, what's going to make a chocolate cake but old Bill threw a spanner in the works and gave us that weird papaya cake recipe hope to god it goes well it's a very high risk option I've never had a surprise party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you all so much. That is just so. Oh, yeah, blow them out. It's the it's to. the papaya cake. cake. It's oh. Bill's recipe. Seriously, we've got we've got photos. The there we go. Oh, 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 me. Oh, oh, don't point that thing at me. You know you can kill someone doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Middle of the South Pacific. Cheers. Chin chin. Oh. chin chin. Good day out. Off to a stormy start. Early rise at 5 a.m. with banging and crashing and flashes in the sky. <laughs> but things turned out very well. A beautiful day sailing. Um, and I wanted to ask you, Elaine, as the mother of, of a captain sailing a ship around the world, I know we've tested you at times um, when things have got a bit hairy on Avalon, Jackson's been throwing the sharks, the uh, incurred injuries a thousand miles out to sea. On your side of things, how is it being a mother of an intrepid adventurer sailing around the world? Well, we can liken it to like the waves of the ocean, it's waves of emotion. You go through times of immense pride, immense joy, happiness, bewilderment. Um, yes, but there are certainly times that test your hope and your faith that everything is going to turn out well. It's been a great lesson in letting go. Um, letting go and just trusting in the ability of both Jackson and you, Xanthi. Um, and you've really proven to me that you guys have got what it takes to do something like this. The, one of the main things that I really got anxious about was that big leg injury because I just felt so helpless and knew that you guys would not be back to land for a long time but then that proved to be okay as well. You guys handled it so beautifully and um, you looked after him so well and um, yeah to be part of your adventure has taken me to places where I would never have normally gone and as my good friend Kim says courage over comfort and this Finding Avalon voyage really pushed me out of my comfort zone but I've also been able to be part of that adventure with you guys and I'm very, very thankful for that. What do you got here? It's our new paddle board. Woohoo! To give us a little bit more freedom. How long have you been wanting a paddle board for? Uh, since the beginning of the trip, so 16 months ago. Just 
nice not to have to like get in the dinghy and use the motor. It's just a much more serene way of getting around. Um, we actually got sent this by our friends at Goose Hill Sports. It's a really affordable travel paddle board, so they're like, I think they're $400 retail. Yeah, it's like, it's this big, like packed up. In a little bag, inflatable. You just blow it up. Paddle. my dream for years. I've yeah, <laughs> they're so keen on this. I've, I've got to the point where I've been like online, I've chosen a paddle board and it's kind of been always been this size because I've always wanted me and Jackson to be able to go on a paddle board together because we used to live by this lake that, that went out into the ocean and the sunsets were bullshit. I dreamt of us being, a, being able to pack some beers onto the paddle board and just go like this into the sunset. Uh -huh. Now we're doing it. So, this here is the pumice. Pumice. <laughs> Got her. It's the pumice. And uh, when we were sailing from Tahiti to Tonga, my mum sent me quite an urgent email saying, be careful of the pumice raft. Right. Yachts have been getting stopped in it. And basically it's from an underwater volcano in just off Tonga. And when it explodes and erupts underwater, it puts out this like aerated rock and created this huge like raft or landscape of floating rock that was up to 50 kilometers. Anyway, we successfully avoided it all the way until Manta Ray Island where we are now, where my mum actually came to meet us and the raft has made its way here. Which is quite funny that it's made its way when my mum has actually arrived here. And we sailed through it to get here. And we had to, had to sail through the whole metre. But it's obviously like one millionth of a size that it was a month ago. Yeah. When she was first freaking out about it. Thank you. 